everyone, and welcome back to the Unreal World Let's Play. Last time we left off, um, right, we were starving, apparently. Well, not quite starving. I think we had a bunch of spoiled meat. Yeah, and that should be able to keep us mostly fed for a while. Which is kind of an exploit, but I don't care. So it's evening, we're not tired. Okay, just trying to remember what's going on. So we have a lot of food drying, actually. Which is a good thing. It's never a bad thing to have a lot of food being prepared. I don't know if I mentioned it last time, but drying is the best way to preserve your food. It lasts, I think, almost a year, normally. So right now I'm just gonna gather some rocks and stones from the area. Probably won't be any out here. It's too open. I wish I could carry that log back, but it's too far, I think. Should worry about getting some fresh food soon. But I'm... I'm actually okay living off of spoiled food for a little while. It's not exactly healthy, but it's... Good enough. Sorry if I'm a bit quiet. I'm playing with my audio a little bit to try to minimize how annoying the fan is in the background. Because, like, right now I can still hear it. I don't know if it's on recording yet or not, but especially for the longer episodes, it's just going to get worse the longer it drags on. And there's nothing I can really do about it because it will do it even if I stop recording. Oh, I meant to pick up that rock too. So rocks are really good for arrowheads. And stones are used in construction and they can be a weapon too. But I'm mostly gathering them to build traps and a cellar. I really want a cellar because it basically a cellar is a food storage area. And the way it works is it drastically increases how long your food lasts as long as you keep it in the cellar. So, um, I think it lasts about twice as long in a cellar as it does otherwise. Not exactly twice, but it's really close to twice as long, I think. So like if we had a cellar, these spoiled, roasted cuts of meat that we have in our bag right now would still be fresh. Well, not fresh, but they'd still be good. No. So, that's usually the first thing I build, once I have a food situation sort of figured out. Ah, too much weight. Should be able to move if I drop that and haul it with me. Yep. And now we have 32 rocks and a bunch of stones. How many stones do we have exactly? 30 or 18. I, I don't remember how much it is, so I'm gonna check real quick. Build, no. Build, cellar. It's 10 stones. Okay, we've almost got enough. to get the slender branches, which is not going to be hard. 
because we can just do that. And I can cut down one more just to make sure I have enough. I don't remember exactly what it said. And wait a little while for our fatigue to go down. No, I don't want to... I don't want to pick them all up. I just want to haul them with me. Yeah, my fan's already kicking on. Really wish I could afford a halfway decent mic. Did I throw up yet? Yeah, I did. Alright, so that's still preparing. Let's drink. Keep that, and yeah, you can see, even though we just threw up, we didn't throw up enough to lower our nutritional value. Which means we're not even close to starving, despite living on spoiled food. Admittedly, this is kind of a cheap way to survive, but... You know what? Fuck it. It's better than dying. Alright, so I'm gonna hurry up and tan this hide. Oh, I need to drop the rotten one. There's literally nothing we can do with that. So I'm not sure at what stage... Okay, so we still need to rinse it. And then we need to do the hard part, which is... Nope, keep going. I know I was going to throw up. And the hard part is basically just sitting here beating it with a rock for an hour. Actually, probably a couple hours. For a hide that size, it'll probably take most of the day. Okay, so I don't remember where I placed our traps. Alright, nothing there. And nothing here. Okay. I don't see any tracks in the area either, so we're just gonna have to wait a little while longer, I guess. Alright, and there's another one up here. I don't remember at all what I put up here. <laughs> Last recording session went on pretty long. Hey, we got a fox. Hello, little guy. Let me bonk you in the head. Yeah, I know I'm nauseous still. It's fine, it's fine. So, and now I need to pick that up and reapply it because that's how these fox traps work. And I'll bait it again with the stag fat and nothing in that little one. So, that's pretty good. Ooh, and that bear is still nearby. Don't want to fuck with the bear just yet. I will fuck with a bird. Which means I'm going to have to zoom out. I don't like doing this, by the way. I can't stand how blurry everything is. Oh, it's flying. Eh, that's not ideal. And I'm clearly seen, so that's probably why it's flying. Right? something at it. I can't reach it. Should have assumed that.
Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to catch up to it. It's too flighty, I guess. Stop. One thing I do like about the zoom, though, is that you can take advantage of your character's eyesight really easily. Which you couldn't really do in previous versions. At least I don't think you could. The last version I played, I tried to zoom out like this after I found out you could in this version, but it just didn't work out. Slightly fatigued. Ooh. So I might be able to out endurance it uh, if it hadn't gotten away. Okay, those are just bear tracks. I'm not really concerned about those. Lost the bird though. Oh well. It's just a bird. Nothing big. So let's start working on that fox hide. Fox skin is actually really valuable. It trades for an oddly high amount. Considering how relatively warm it is, how relatively like cool it is, I mean. Like, I don't know. The way I think about it, the warmer a fur is, the more it should cost, but that's not how it works. And it's not how it works in real life either, to be fair. Um, actually, no, I want to build it down there, I think. Oh, right. You do split fire, no, split a trunk into boards. There we go. I forgot about that. This will take a little while. Yeah. Okay. Um, kind of want to push the decent boards away. Because I don't want to use them for the cellar. So I want to make sure they're out of range of me using them, basically. It sounds weird, but the quality of the boards and stuff doesn't actually matter for the cellar. Whereas it does matter for stuff like making bows out of the boards, which is what I'm planning on doing with those. Okay, I need a break. I'm too tired. But this is actually a new feature as well. Before, if you got interrupted, then your task would be aborted and you'd have to start all over. Whereas now, you can actually <clears throat> keep, just like stop working for a little while and pick it up where you left off. It's really nice. As you can see, the rinsing process doesn't take that long. So I'm going to actually cut down this tree because I need the tree trunk to use as a table. No, it's fine. I was expecting to vomit. There. Now, tan this. And this is the intensive part. It's going to take a while. It's really exhausting. Luckily, it's not so exhausting that we collapse or stop being able to work because of it. <clears throat> but this is the last part of tanning, at least, so when we're done we can go to sleep with our brand new hide. And then tomorrow we'll do it again with the fox fur. Yep. Okay. Too fatigued to move. There we go. Take a drink. And eat some more of our more of our nasty food.
And I'm gonna have to cook that fox meat pretty soon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these poor boards, because I think we have enough, and use this as sort of improvised firewood. And I forgot how low this character's survival skill is, so this will take a few tries. There we go. And I'll just cook all of it. Alright, that's rinsed, so it's almost done. That's not... okay. Now they should be. And we can have some halfway decent food today. That's pretty good. So now back to our cellar, and it's done. Good. You can't dry food or smoke food in a cellar, it's just for storage, but it's very good at what it does. collect some more rocks and stones. I'm not going to be able to make too many arrows, I don't think. Because to make arrows you need uh, tying equipment. And you need those for, and you need tying equipment for a bow too. So I might have to rip apart some of my clothes a little bit. Kind of want to turn the hide into something warm though, because we don't really have much in the way of warmth coverage, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this is our warmth coverage, and it's all pretty much subpar except for our feet, and we have nothing on our hands. So I think I want to make getting some warm clothes my priority with the hide, and I'll turn whatever's left over of it into into cords, basically. So, I'm not sure how much cord we'll get. We should be able to make a bow and one or two arrows, though. Considering we already have a bit of cord. I'm not sure how much cord matters in the value of a bow, though. I don't think it matters that much, but I could be wrong, and we might end up with really low-quality arrows, which fire at odd angles, and they're just generally annoying to work with. So I think that's enough for now. We're going to need a lot of stones later on for a fireplace, too. I think we need 30? Or maybe it's 20-something. I don't know exactly. Definitely need quite a bit, though. And before I forget, I need to finish that fox skin. One odd thing is the quality of your clothes doesn't actually influence it at all. I don't know, I guess that's planned for a future version or something, but I really don't like it that it's not already implemented. But, you know, the devs have to prioritize. I understand that. Okay, so first things first, I need mittens. I don't have enough fox fur to make mittens, so I'll keep the fox fur at, intact for now. All right. And they're really bad quality, but if we look, now we have at least a little bit of protection from the cold on our hands. It's not great, but it's something. All right, so. What else do we need exactly? I need leggings, a shirt, 
and a HUD at least. So let's start with the shirt because I think, yeah, the shirt takes quite a lot of material. And it's going to take us a while to finish. But I don't think the tunic we have on has sleeves, like long sleeves, which is an issue. I'm just going to eat a little bit more of the spoiled food. Okay, I need to take off that tunic actually. Which is fine, I don't really care about it. Now our warmth, yeah, now that shirt, our tunic didn't cover our arms at all, but our shirt does. So, that's good. Right, I'm a bit tired. Still need a hood. Wait, do I already have a hood? Or am I wearing a cap? I'm wearing a cap. Good. Nope, don't want to stop. I knew I was going to throw up. Alright. So. Where's the hood? And leggings. Getting a little bit of, like, lag, actually. That's weird. Okay. I think leggings are okay with pants. Can I wear this? Apparently I can. Hmm. And now we actually have pretty good protection from the cold. It's, our head and hands aren't great, but it's actually kind of hard to make clothes for those regions. You can get your head pretty well off if you use like bear fur, I think. But for the most part, not so much. Right, so I'm gonna make some cord as much as I can. No, keep working. Okay, Nausea went away. And we're getting really tired. I'm gonna eat some real food. That is food that's not spoiled and nasty. And it might be too late in the season to dehydrate food anymore, which I'm not happy about. So I'm gonna try to get back onto a normalish sleeping schedule by waiting until later before I go to bed. And I mean literally just waiting. <laughs> that should be good enough. And sleep. Yeah, and now we're hot because of how warm our clothes are, which isn't a bad thing at all. You could also have made a cloak, probably. We had enough material, I think. But I don't really see the point right now. Okay. Um, make weapon. And I'm pretty sure the short bow is. Yeah, okay. And we can make a short bow out of decent material. I'll take couple hours, but it's worth it to have a bow. Especially since our spear skill isn't ideal. Yeah, we got a decent bow. Alright, so unroll the axe and wield the short bow. I need to make a couple arrows, of course. Ah, 
No, I'm still too fatigued to move. How many branches do I have here? Not enough, I don't think. Oh, no, I didn't mean to cancel. I meant to drop those. And I'll drop the hides here as well. Because you can actually use hides as blankets. So we're going to be very warm. Alright, we don't have enough branches. Actually, we probably do have more than enough branches, but in my mind, we don't have enough branches. And considering there's trees right here, and trees give infinite branches because there's no like limit that has been implemented yet. Again, it's probably something that they should get to. But, again, priorities. They need to focus on things that actually matter, basically. Right. Drop the fine cords over here. Because I don't want to use fine cords to make, like, terrible arrows. It's just not a good use of material. As you can see, even the spoiled food has kept us in good shape for quite a while. Oh, I need to actually have the tying equipment in my inventory. I guess because it's of low quality. Nope, keep working. I want to at least have five arrows before I start, like, hunting with it. Okay, two decent, two rough, and one curved. That's not terrible, actually. The curved arrow will have a really odd flight pattern. The rough arrow will, too, I think. But the decent one should fly relatively straight. We have decent bow skill, I think. I put a point into it at character creation. Yeah, we're competent. So I think one more set of arrows. Oh, I don't have the... I don't have cords for it. So, I'll make those. Make one more set of arrows, because I like to have at least ten, usually, before I go after anything big with a bow. It's less that I like to have at least ten arrows, and more that I like to have at least a couple decent arrows with me. And two decent arrows is not really going to cut it against most enemies. Make, weapon, arrow, five, five per cords, go. And two decent, two rough, and one curved again. Okay. So we have a couple good arrows and a bunch of bad arrows. It's basically how making arrows goes in this game. It's about what I expected to get. Alright. I think I saw something move in the distance. No, I didn't. And yeah, I know it's kind of cheap that I'm still using this exploit. Hmm. I kind of want to put some, like, bear traps up here. And that is the heavy deadfall traps designed for bears, not actual bear traps that, like, latch onto your legs. I don't think those are in this game. Might be wrong, but pretty sure they're not. Anyway, here's our meal for the next little while, I guess. 
I'm gonna leave him here for now, I think. Which is kind of cruel. And again, don't do this in real life. But I don't need to eat him right now and he'll survive in that little hole that he's in for longer if I don't kill him. And that should have rotted by now, right? Oh, hey, there's that bear. Yeah, it's spoiled. So. I need to get fresh meat to bait that. Which I don't feel like baiting it right now. Get away from the bear for a minute. Okay. So. Our food situation's looking pretty good since we caught something there. I think it's time we start working on cabin. And to do that, we need a lot of trees. A lot of trees. Why did it say I got injured twice? Whatever. Basically, every wall of the cabin takes six logs, which is six trees. So, it's going to take a while. You know, it's going to take so long that if I sit here and build it, I might actually run out of time on this guy. So I think I will take him now. I don't really want to, but uh, it's good archery practice anyway. Okay. Yeah, see, even at this close range, with a large target, we missed pretty badly because of how low quality the arrow is. You don't have to actually pick up the arrow into your hand to fire, but it takes longer. If you, it takes longer to actually get off the shot. So right now it doesn't matter because he's not going anywhere. But if, <laughs> sorry. If he wasn't stuck in a hole, it would actually matter quite a bit. And that went stray. Okay, well you sit there and bleed while I go get my arrow back. Edge the skull. Edge skull. Actually, I think. I think a javelin to the skull would probably be more effective. Okay, it's down now. And skin. Mm. Well, my fan's picking back up. <sighs> I know I'm complaining about that a lot, but... It does actually bother me quite a bit. Okay, you wait right there while I go get a drink. That's something I forgot I was going to do. I needed to make like a bowl or a skin or something. so that I could carry water with me and not have to worry about stopping. 
And here's our arrows back from the body. And yep, we're definitely weighed down a lot, but that worked out really well for us. Looking over here. We should have some poor cords, don't we? No, we use them all. Alright, well. I pick these up. I already have a decent bow. I'm not too concerned about it. And is it too late in the season? No. Good. So I can't actually do this. That's really good. I don't have enough cord for that though. Okay, I have just enough to make three more cords. <clears throat> and I'll pass out. Oh. Okay, well, if you ever paid attention to the bottom right corner here, <clears throat> You notice these little red, you feel at unity with the world thing popped up just before we got this. And basically we've discovered a new ritual, but we can't perform it yet. We actually have to go to a sage and he'll teach us the words and actions associated with it. So, in order to find a sage, we need to go to town and find somebody. Usually they stand out pretty well at least. I I'm throwing up in the middle of eating. Alright, well. I know I should probably start working on the hide first. Actually, I will do that. Because a decent stag skin. I'm surprised the arrows didn't do more damage to it, actually. Normally, puncture wounds will lower the quality of a hide quite a bit, but it didn't actually matter this time. Hmm. But I'm not sure we are good enough at actually managing to tan hides to have that matter, we'll probably still end up with pretty low quality. Alright, so C, D, and again I'm gonna just go through with 19 at a time to maximize how much I get out of this. Sorry if you heard that. Um, my jaw just cracked really badly. So, yeah, it's part of one of those jaw issues I complain about all the time. It's not a big issue right now, but it's kind of annoying is all. Okay, I'm gonna eat some of this. So we stop throwing up. And now I'm going to... Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to store the uncooked hides in there for right now. That way I have a little bit of time to let this finish. What I'm thinking is the food will last long enough in there that by the time 
the hide finishes, I'll be able to just finish it. Finish um, drying all of it. I'm going to pick up a couple boards though. And again, I'm using this as improvised firewood. I want to roast some of it. Let's pick up um, 20 should be enough to roast. I am getting a little bit of game lag. That's probably from recording it. I think after I roast these, I'm going to call an episode here, and hopefully I'll remember what I was doing when I get back. I'm going to try to keep this one a little bit... I'm sorry if this one's a little too short for you guys, I don't know how long I've been recording. But, um, it's like 1am for me, <laughs> and I'm going to have to wait for this encode to encode before I can go to bed. So. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.